What's going on, keepers? Now, if you've ever watched the Prem, you know that our gloves have been on the big stage for years. But what about the small stage? The really small stage. Safety first. So what does latex look like? How does it behave when damp? What's the difference between dry and wet weather latex? Let's find out. Okay, so that, that's really interesting. So what you're seeing here kind of is what you'd expect to see from, from skin. So these are the signature pores that you'll find on any latex that allow moisture to get in and activate that all important grip. It reinforces why you need to look after your gloves. If these get filled with dirt, bacteria, sweat, you can imagine it's gonna affect the performance, not just grip, but durability, and it will dry out the glove. Okay, so we've seen our all-weather latex. What about palms that are designed to excel in the wet? What makes them different? Let's find out. Okay, so what we're seeing here are not just more pores, but we're seeing larger pores designed to absorb more water and what that basically means is the glove requires more moisture to activate the grip but most importantly it will allow that grip to perform at the highest level in the wettest conditions. It will still work fine in the dry, just need to dampen it a little bit but this is why it excels in the wet and the rain. We've spoken about it, now let's see it in action. So you can see here that there is water on the surface of the palm. Now it's, it's not dominating the palm, it's quite sporadic and it's spread out in, in small droplets, which is to be expected, it has to be absorbent to a degree. But compared to an aqua glove, I would expect to, to not see much of this, if, if anything, because it's gonna be more absorbent. So I can latex under the microscope. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so straight away without even looking at the microscope, I can see the palm on the eye has absorbed the water a lot quicker. Under the microscope, you can see barely if any water on the surface compared to what we saw with the contact latex. You remember it was a lot more glossy, there was glistening, you could physically see the droplets sitting in the pores. Here, you can't even see the water and that's because there's more pores, there's larger pores, which means it absorbs more water, which means better grip for you guys in wet conditions.